Lesson 127 There is no love but God's. Perhaps you think that different kinds of love are possible. Perhaps you think there is a kind of love for this, a kind for that. A way of loving one, another way of loving still another. Love is one. It has no separate parts and no degrees, no kinds nor levels, no divergencies and no distinctions. It is like itself, unchanged throughout. It never alters with a person or a circumstance. It is the heart of God and also of His Son. Love's meaning is obscure to anyone who thinks that love can change. He does not see that changing love must be impossible. And thus he thinks that he can love at times and hate at other times. He also thinks that love can be bestowed on one and yet remain itself, although it is withheld from others. To believe these things of love is not to understand it. If it could make such distinctions, it would have to judge between the righteous and the sinner and perceive the Son of God in separate parts. Love cannot judge. As it is one itself, it looks on all as one. Its meaning lies in oneness. And it must elude the mind that thinks of it as partial or in part. There is no love but God's and all of love is His. There is no other principle which rules where love is not. Love is a law without an opposite. Its wholeness is the power holding everything as one, the link between the Father and the Son which holds them both forever as the same. No course whose purpose is to teach you what you really are could fail to emphasize there is no difference in what you are and what love is. Love's meaning is your own and shared by God Himself. For what you are is what He is. There is no love but His, and what He is, is everything there is. There is no limit placed upon Himself, and so are you unlimited as well. No laws the world obeys can help you grasp love's meaning. What the world believes was made to hide love's meaning and to keep it dark and secret. There is not one principle the world upholds but violates the truth of what love is and what you are as well. Seek not within the world to find yourself. Love is not found in darkness and in death. Yet it is perfectly apparent to the eyes that see and ears that hear its voice. Today we practice making free our minds of all the laws you think you must obey, of all the limits under which you live and all the changes which you think are part of human destiny. Today we take the largest single step this course requests in your advance toward its established goal. If you achieve the faintest glimmering of what love means today, you have advanced in distance without measure and in time beyond the count of years to your release. Let us together then be glad to give some time to God today and understand there is no better use for time than this. For 15 minutes twice today escape from every law in which you now believe. Open your mind and rest. The world which seems to hold you prisoner can be escaped by anyone who does not hold it dear. 
withdraw all value you have placed upon its meager offerings and senseless gifts, and let the gift of God replace them all. Call to your Father, certain that His voice will answer. He Himself has promised this, and He Himself will place a spark of truth within your mind wherever you give up a false belief, a dark illusion of your own reality and what love means. He will shine through your idle thoughts today and help you understand the truth of love. In loving gentleness He will abide with you as you allow His voice to teach love's meaning to your clean and open mind. And He will bless the lesson with His love. Today, the legion of the future years of waiting for salvation disappears before the timelessness of what you learn. Let us give thanks today that we are spared a future like the past. Today we leave the past behind us, never more to be remembered. And we raise our eyes upon a different present, where a future shines unlike the past in every attribute. The world in infancy is newly born, and we will watch it grow in strength and health, to shed its blessing upon all who come to learn to cast aside the world they thought was made in hate to be love's enemy. Now are they all made free along with us. Now are they all our brothers in God's love. We will remember them throughout the day because we cannot leave a part of us outside our love if we would know ourself. At least three times an hour think of one who makes the journey with you and who came to learn what you must learn. And as he comes to mind, give him this message from yourself. I bless you, brother, with the love of God which I would share with you. For I would learn the joyous lesson that there is no love but God's and yours and mine and everyone's.